Okay, the car I'm going to be installing these in happens to be a 2003 Toyota Camry. Uh, this happens to be V6, doesn't matter what engine you have, this should go 2003, 4, 5, maybe even 6. If it's not your exact car, the process is very, very similar as far as how you access the bulbs and install them. So if you look closely, you can see where those bulbs are and how dim they actually are. So let's go ahead and replace them. Now in order to access them, we have to take this like felt covering, trunk covering off, and you'll see there's a number of clips going around in numerous places. So in order to remove this, you may have one of a number of different types of clips. This is what I like to call the Phillips screw mount. So if you notice in the center of this, it kind of looks like a Phillips screw. So we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver, which I have right here. This is a regular Phillips. I'm going to try my best not to block the shot. With these type clips, the way it works is, if you look very closely, the Phillips thing is like an insert around that is the, the rest of the uh, clip here. So what you're going to do is put your fingernail or maybe even your finger on that and put the Phillips screwdriver in there and turn it counterclockwise and you may notice how the center has popped out like that. And very simply now, you just grab the whole thing and pull it right out just like that. Now we have to go around and remove all of the rest of these clips. It would also be wise to get some sort of container, it can be a plastic cup, this happens to be an old cat food can, and put all of those in there so you don't lose them because you have to reinstall them at the end. You may be able to just remove some of the clips around here and reach in if you don't want to be bothered taking them all out, but just to show you a lot better, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of them. So, right here, once again we hold it, put the Phillips screwdriver in there and turn it just ever so slightly and it goes right out and goes in your container. The last clip that I have is under this uh, emergency release. So maybe a little tricky to get out, but there, that just pulled right out. And now we have to remove this as well. So to remove the emergency release in the trunk, you want to get a flat blade screwdriver and come in behind it here, and you're just going to pry it out. It's going to take some force. but it will come out, and there it is there, and now the carpeting comes right away. And now here are the bulbs here. You come up in here, these are it right here. There's some other connectors you may have, but these are it, and these take a twist, one way or the other. That one came out like that, and this one comes out like that. And there is the original bulb that can come out. So now we have to remove the bulb from here. These should just pull right out. If you can't get them, you can use something like a pair of pliers or something, but you want to be careful not to break the glass. I'm replacing mine with LED bulbs. Not all LED bulbs are non-polarity. Make sure to check the specifications of the bulb. If your bulbs have a polarity, you have a 50-50 shot of getting it right the first time. If it doesn't work, take the bulb out, rotate it 180 degrees, and plug it back in. If you are replacing your bulbs with new incandescents, then polarity does not matter. Now these are going to go in exactly the same way. It doesn't matter which way you put them because they're non-polarity. They just push right in like that. And I'll do the other side as well. Let me just get my other bulb here. Pull this one out. There we are. And stick that in. 
And before I go ahead and button this up, let's make sure it works. And as you can see, both the lights are on, so we'll go ahead and install. So it's just a matter of finding the right angle and getting it to pop in. There it is there, and it locks in place, the same on the other side. So now we're ready to put the trunk carpeting back in. So you just sort of fit it in place and run it up, and that's it. Just hold it in place. This is where your emergency release is going to go, but we're not going to do that just yet. This is the center hole right over here. So it would be very wise if you go ahead and put one of your lock holes back in there. So what you want to do is take your black clip, and it has three prongs on it. Actually, four prongs. You want to make sure the center is still pulled out and stick it back in the hole. This is going to take a little bit of wiggling until you get it. Once again, hold it and press and it's back in. And now we just go around and put all of the other clips back in. And now we have to put the emergency eject back on. So if you take a close look at this, you'll see how there's these prongs and these openings. And this has those prongs that will fit in the openings there. So you just have to go ahead and fit it on. You may also wish to take the cover of the handle off. And you'll notice on one side there's a notch and you can just stick a flat screwdriver in there and be able to pop the clip and then the rest is going to be able to open up and come apart like that. This will just make it a little easier to see to put back on. So we basically just line it up and push it on and that's it. It has to snap in otherwise it's not attached. cover will go and snap right back on and if you wanted to jump in the trunk and try this have somebody else handy to make sure you can get out if indeed you did not put this back correctly and I know it's very hard to see because it's daytime but you can see the LED lights in there now I'll show you of course at night so this is what the car looks like with its original license plate lights that are in there, the incandescent ones. And now here's what it looks like with the new LED bulbs. Certainly a brighter white and easier to see. And here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the original incandescent bulbs on the top and the new LED bulbs on the bottom. Say so if this video helped you out, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. That lets me know that I did a good job making this video and I can continue to provide them for you. Have a great day.